question that we're going to cover today is um, 124, page 124, question 4, which is this question here. Okay, so we're looking um, for the elevation, the in view, and the plan. So the elevation is looking in from A, which is here, and the end view is looking in from B, which is here. So we're looking in from the end view from the right. So that is drawn over on the left. So the elevation is on the right and the end elevation is on the left. And the, eleva and the plan is always below the elevation. So we'll start off first with drawing our elevation. So make sure you draw this over on the right of your page. So up here we'll start drawing it. So it is it's a hundred in height. So make sure you give yourself enough in the height. So we'll mark off our XY line. Um, the width of it is the it is one hundred and twenty five, so we can get the overall width one hundred and twenty five. So I'm just And we come up a hundred on each side and we can draw in a box. And inside that box we know the elevation is in it, okay? So, 125 by 100, up 100. So the first part we'll do is the, the front part on the left. So we come up 15. We come over 70. So the part that we can't get from drawing is this surface here. So we don't know um, where this line is in elevation. So we get that by drawing the plan, but we can draw everything else first okay, in the elevation. <coughs> So from that 15 line up here, we'll come up 25. And we don't know, so we know that this can go straight across. Okay. The next part is the, the quarter of a circle that we can Get. So we know when you're looking at a curve in the elevation that it will just look like a, it will look like a rectangle or a cube or so in this case it will look like a rectangle. Um, the radius of the circle is 50. So 
So we came over 50 here, and we can come down 20 from that. And then over 25. So what we've just drawn there is up this curved line which will look as like a straight line in elevation. We've come down R20 and we've come over R25. So we have to come up, come in 25 to get this line, up 15 and then we can draw this curve. Okay. So we come in our twenty five and we come up our fifteen. Okay. So get the center of the circle. I just came down and over and I have my center here. Get your compass. Set it to 25. And that, this is all we can draw of the elevation so far. So we bring this down to our plan. So project all these lines down. We take a distance of a gap of ten between the XY lines. And if you look at the the drawing it is 85 from here to here so 85 and again we'll just draw in our box our rectangle and we'll start putting in everything into the rectangle, okay? So we're drawing the plan now, so we're looking down. So this will look like a curve, um, and we'll also be able to get this piece that is cut out, and we'll get that in the elevation after. Okay, so we come down 50, And we'll bring our 50 line down from our elevation. And we can draw in our quarter of a circle.
next line we can bring down is these ones here up here bring them down and if you look at the book it is 25 25 wide and this is also another line that we bring up in elevation this point we bring it up into our elevation which is this line here okay so we're gonna get this um cut off point here so we'll come back We'll come down 35 and we'll come over our 70 which will give us this point and this point and all we do then is we join them up and we can see where this line will hit this um, cut off or slope surface okay so we'll come down 35 And we can bring our 70 from our elevation. So we know it's going to be the same. And we can join them back. And that's the slope surface there. That's the, the cut off line. So it will look like just one straight line in your plan. And the final line we need to get is this one in our plan which is 15 from this baseline so we'll come out our 15 and we'll extend that over to this this line here and now we can finish off our elevation by bringing it up lightly join this back okay and also bringing this line up lightly Okay, so this surface that we just drew here is this, all of this, okay? So the next part we're going to do is the end elevation. So we'll use our 45 degree set square and project the lines up. And remember that we can get our heights from the elevation so we can get our heights from the elevation
project these lines up. Okay, so so we're just drawing the end elevation in next, then we can take our height across as well. So we'll bring all of all of our heights over. And we'll bring all of our 45 degree lines up. So, all of this will be our heavy outline. So, we can. sure you follow the lines up so next part will just be up here so this is up 15 and from that 15 line we We'll get uh, the slope in the end elevation, so it should be over 15 and up to this point here. Okay. And we can join that straight. Back okay. And make sure you bring this line over and up forty five because we need it in the end elevation. So we can start finishing off our end elevation now and don't forget to bring these lines over and up at 45 as well okay Okay, so that is the surface here, or we'll call it just A. This is that surface there, and this line here is also A. So this is A here, and that's the end of our drawing. Okay.